I would like to speak now briefly about systems theory as it relates to the administration of healthcare facilities. Different people approach systems theory from slightly different perspectives and describe it in different ways. To me, a system is something like an organism or an organization. An organism or an organization has internal parts that have behaviors, and the entire entity also has behaviors and relates through its behaviors to a larger environment. My body, for example, um, is a system. It has a boundary. Uh, most organisms are bounded by their skins, and the skins define the separation or the barrier, the boundary between the organism and the environment. I behave. I interact with the environment. I have within my body a number of subsystems, such as my heart, my lungs, my stomach, my brain, and other subsystems that also have behaviors. And as an organism, my happiness, my survival, depends upon the harmony of the subsystems within my body and also with my ability to align myself through my behaviors with the environment in which I find myself. Organizations are like that. Organizations behave. Organizations exist in complex environments social environment, political environment, legal environment, and so forth, financial environment. Um, organizations have internal parts. And to be an administrator of a modern healthcare organization, I believe that one must continually be mindful of and attuned to both the internal workings of the organization and the alignment of the organization with its dynamic environment. The health of the organization, the survival of the organization, the prosperity of the organization, and the ability of the organization to fulfill its mission depends upon this dynamic responsiveness to the environment and this continual system of adjustments, internal adjustments among the parts of the organization. So healthcare administrators must be mindful of both the parts of the organization and the environment and do what they can to contribute to the smooth workings of the departments and the teams of professionals within the organization while continually monitoring and adjusting to changing environmental conditions around the organization. It's just like a person. Um, the internal is important and the external boundary spanding is vitally important also. Thank you.